Hi, I'm Miss Mike from Minimal 3DP, and today I'm doing a follow-up to my design of experiments for reducing vibrations on my printers. In my original video, I looked at using cork dampeners on the left, stepper dampeners, which is pictured on the right, and then also these anti-fatigue mats. And by using these, I hope to reduce the vibrations on my printer. Using my phone, as pictured here, I measured the vibrations on my Ender 5 Plus as it was uh, as it was going through the motions of printing a vibration test model. So I went ahead and did this, and I did a total of 24 different trials, each three repeats of each um, permutation with with and without the, the stepper damper, with or without the cork piece, and with or without the uh, anti-fatigue mat. And I went through this and collected all the results on the Ender 5 Plus. Now, unfortunately, I found that nothing really changed the vibrations on the Ender 5 Plus. None of the three treatments I tried uh, made any changes. At the same time, as I was collecting results on the Ender 5 Plus, I was also collecting results on my Sidewinder X1 that was not running. Basically, I wanted to look at vibrations of this printer, how they were affecting the other printer that's on the same table. And as I went ahead and collected my results, now, as with the uh, Ender 5 Plus, I oriented my phone um, in the same direction um, and same orientation as I did on the Ender 5. So that way I could go ahead and, and the results were looking at the same directions, the Y, X, and then the Z axis. The Z axis, um, I can pretty much drop those results so I'm really just looking at the vibrations that Sidewinder X1 is experiencing in the X and Y direction. Now here's a snapshot of what my experimental process looked like. X1 is with the cork pad. X2 is with the anti-fatigue mat or pad. And then X3 is with the dampeners. And Basically, the first run, I didn't use anything. Last run, I used uh, all three. So basically, if you look through here, anything that says plus one, that means I actually use the item. So if I look down at this row here, I went ahead and in this iteration, I used the cork pad and the anti-fatigue pad and then did not use the dampener. So again, that's how I did my experiment. And if I go over here, here's the results. So I had um, eight trials, and then I did each trial three times for a total of 24 results. And you'll see there's results from the X1 that's on the, the XRMS, YLRMS, and ZRMS. I'm not really going to look at Z. In the case of this printer, I'm just looking at the X and Y motion that were caused by it's the printer um, on the same table moving. So again, um, this set of experiments is for the vibrations I experience, experienced on this printer. Now I use ordinary least squares regression in my analysis, and I reduce the model, so I run through basically twice. And you'll see that here are the three factors that are shown to have a significant uh, impact on vibrations. So those three, the, the pad, the dampener, and then the cork pad plus the NFT pad, um, all had a significant impact on vibrations. Now when I run through my modeling, scroll all the way down here, what I discovered was that the model identified the only thing that really changed, and this was with the Y direction, 
change the vibrations were that X2, which is at 1, and that's the anti-fatigue mat. So the anti-fatigue mat slash pad actually reduced vibrations in the Y direction on my sidewinder X1. Now I went through and ran the same set of experiments for the X direction and in my reduced model it eliminated all my variables. So none of the variables, the, the cork, the pad, and the dampener all had no effect on changing the vibrations for the X direction. So if you want to reduce the vibrations in the Y direction on a printer that's sitting next to a printer you're running, you want to use those anti-fatigue pads um, and that makes a difference. Now here's two of my other printers and as you can see I have the pads down. Now what's really cool about the pads is the fact that I can get four of them from uh, Harbor Freight for $9.99. So I mean literally four pads only cost $9.99 and what's also good is those pads are big enough to cover the footprint of the under 5 plus so I have four printers and I have four pads and again for $9.99 it's a great investment um, and what that will allow you to do is reduce the vibrations in the Y direction between printers if you have them sitting on the same table or shelf if you have questions about my experimental design or how I process my data I've gone ahead and put a link to my Jupyter Notebook that I used in the uh, video description. And then I also have my um, GitHub repository with all my data available for anybody that wants to look at it. If you're interested in seeing more experiments um, and experimental design or you want me to do a, a video how-to of how to use these, please let me know. As I mentioned, I'm more than happy to do more experiments. Just let me know what you'd like to see. I'm thinking of doing some experiments with uh, Filament Friday did a ultra fast printer profile and I'm thinking about looking at different variables they changed and then trying to figure out which ones have the most impact on speed and then sharing that out. This is Mike from Minimal 3DP. If you have any questions or comments, please post them below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. I really appreciate your time. Thanks. Have a good day.